Hello Gemini, welcome to your love reading for couples. If you'd like a personal reading from me, click the link up there. It will take you straight to my website. The questions we're going to ask today are, how does your person feel about you um, this week? Whenever you watch it, this is timeless. Um, what is their secret thoughts about you? What they've been behaving like towards you what they want to tell you but feel they can't and what your relationship challenges this week how to deal with those challenges and the final outcome for your relationship this week whenever you watch it i'll be using my clover tarot um gorgeous deck yeah, you can only purchase that from her website. And Amira's Oracle Tarot as Clarifiers, which is also on her website. Only, you can't buy it from Amazon. Okie dokie, let's get into it for Gemini. 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 Let's answer these questions. For Gemini, we have Three of Cups, a Chariot, and Six of Pentacles. So, in a love reading, Three of Cups means too many people sipping from a cup of love. Chariot, a decision needs to be made quickly about a Six of Pentacles situation. Six of Pentacles is um, where two people are equally giving and taking. It's an equal give and take relationship. So, maybe it's about making a decision to turn three of cups into two all right so let's see what else comes out this could be something that happened in the past i always find i often find that the pre-shuffle is something that you're just merging out of and the actual spread is what you're going through now all right let's do this for my gemini's out there how does your person feel about the relationship right now? We have Daughter of Wands. So this is a Page of Wands. I probably shouldn't be showing you this. This is a very innocent, sensitive, very vulnerable, very um, impressionable energy where you can kind of um, see um, that there's feelings and emotions stirring but you're not quite sure um, how to deal with it so it's channeling that passionate awakening in art music so it's also good news about um, some new beginning that is you know probably a relationship so trying to figure out how to channel some passionate energy that you feel towards another in a different direction developing some pretty serious emotions okay that's how your person feels about you what are the secret thoughts about you the sun the happiest card as all readers say so this is where you feel really good and happy within each other's space you really like being close to them and feeling their energy and it's also about illuminating how you feel, letting them know that you're interested or them letting you know that you're hot stuff. All right, what they've been like towards you, King of Swords, it's very straight out in the open, not playing games or mucking around. That's why they're looking for a way to channel their energy. They feel so much for you and they don't know how to how to let you know um, all they know is that it feels really really good so they might be a little bit closed off poker face you know straight down the line but actually deep down inside they've got strong feelings what do they want to tell you but feel they can't queen of swords you've got the king and the queen all right so queen of swords is um, something to the point straight and narrow uh, when I clarify I'll tell you what that is could be that they want to cut someone out because they've got the feels for you big time okay what relationship challenges are there two of cups 
your union is a challenge okay the fact that you know there's two of you they want to cut someone out they're being poker face towards you straight down the line you know they've got the big feels and passionate stirrings about you it's pretty new okay and you make them feel really good when you're around and when they're around you two of cups is a challenge meaning the feels that you feel for each other is the challenge right now probably you know suppressing it going i don't feel it but you do all right so um how to deal with the challenges you've got daughter of cups okay um so that's page of cups where it's just allow it just flow with it she's literally flowing okay flow with the energy allow it to flow through how to deal with this challenge of two of cups the feelings just let it flow just go with it and see what happens all right and uh, this week's best relationship outcome, Nine of Wands. So for this week, the best relationship between you guys is still being quite on guard. Okay, not allowing them to come too close. Probably because they're poker face and they're still trying to figure out how do they how they can cut someone out. Queen of Swords energy. Alright, let's clarify with Amira's Love Oracle. Gorgeous Gemini. Gemini, 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 Gemini. That was open relationship. Open relationship. Too many people sipping on a cup of love. Uh, blonde female, possibly. Doesn't have to be. Someone light or fair. I could be classified blonde, even though I'm naturally brunette. But the brunette card comes out for me because I'm naturally, you know. So it's really what I guess the energy maybe. Okay, let's see what comes out for my Gemini's. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Okay, thank you. Alright, let's see. Daughter of Wands with Young Female. How perfect is this? Both redheads. <gasps> Doesn't have to be a redhead though. So Young Female. So pretty much what this is saying, the same thing. It's like a very young, passionate energy. Feeling quite flirty and excited to be around each other. It's like being very interested in what you have to offer. And, you know, suppressing that, like, I don't know how to deal with these feelings. The sun, wife, family, their secret thoughts about you. They feel really good about you. Why is family there? Is it that um, they feel that you're secretly their real family? That they secretly feel that they would love to be with you? That, that you are their real family? person that where they are right now is not where they feel they belong that's a soulmate or twin flame relationship by the way okay king of swords fair male doesn't have to be just saying maybe what they've been like towards you they've been um quite see his expression that's also another cue from this card see it doesn't have to be a young female it's just her her stature, her pose, okay, um, and it's just really interesting that they're both redhead. <laughs> um, so, really, it's the seriousness. They've both got a very serious face, don't they? So it's literally saying your person is acting quite stern, serious, and to the point. Um, that's what they've been like towards you. Queen of Swords, brunette, female. Here we have again. See, this is me in this deck, but I'm not even really brunette, but I am. So it's also just um, her, her facial expression, very like, do I, can I trust? Should I do this? And plotting and planning, not plotting like a bad thing, but planning, what am I going to do now? It's like, I've got to go do this. I've got to do it. I don't know how. And that is the energy that I get from this. What they want to tell you, I'm actually secretly thinking, how am I going to be with you? 
I need to do this before I can move towards you. Almost like, are you worth it? I know you are. Here we have a lot of um, characters coming out. So maybe this is in a social setting, doesn't have to be, might be. But there's a lot of uh, characters coming out possibly to express all the different dimensions and feelings that are being expressed in this um, union between you. So young male, so this is actually showing me what are the relationship challenges. He's thinking or she's thinking wistfully and uh, kind of six of cups energy where thinking about you with very loving thoughts see how he's just like pondering and thinking in that trance like just thinking about the love that you share okay what the relationship challenges are just like you go home from work or you go you know you're driving or whatever walking and it's like just thinking about that person because you really miss them and you're thinking about them Okay, Daughter of Earth, another character. This is very interesting. So, I've got to see. Why is this here? Dark male. Very alternative thinking, but also Daughter of Cups is very creative, isn't it? So, I feel this is where you find that channel. Okay, so how to deal with the challenges. Flow just lost my voice excuse me for a moment flow with the energy together just allow it to unfold and allow it to flow and you know express yourself you know in the best way you can probably without letting on too much because you don't want to be risky but you also really want to let them know you are interested I think this is a really good good message from spirit nine of wands karma uh -huh. that's why you're on guard because you, you're afraid of the repercussions so if your person or you are attached it's a very tricky karmic cycle isn't it so being on guard biding your time standing in the background channeling your energy the best way you can and you know thinking wistfully because your person is kind of like straight faced thinking about their family or thinking about wanting to be a family with you but like how do you do that how do you make that happen and here we have karma at the, as the very end meaning well it's all about you know karmic uh, repercussions and you don't want any issues so it's about keeping your conscience clean and seeing how things pan out i'm interested in your love reading for singles now the, considering this and situationship that's going to be interesting all right i sent you much love peace and light always bye for now